It's for two reasons. It's going to save lives and it's going to save money. State Senator Carlos Suresti is on a mission to make proposed Bill 313 into a law. Long term, we will save hundreds of millions of dollars, not to mention thousands of lives. Udesti is proposing raising the minimum age to buy cigarettes from 18 to 21. Statistics show that the longer somebody goes from taking their first drag, their first puff, there's a very good chance they will never start to smoke. Not to mention, says Udesti, the deadly consequences. Every year on average, 24,500 Texans die from smoking related illnesses. So anyway, I have work. I have work today. Chelsea Hurt and Daniel Schuler started smoking at 18. They say raising the age won't make a difference. No, I really don't. Probably not because uh, unless life had changed differently, but I was able to get it without, I didn't have to go to the store to get my first cigarette. As far as medical reasons, it would be beneficial, but other than that, I don't see why it would prevent 18 year olds from getting cigarettes. Maybe if you hold it off a little bit longer, by the time they're 21, it might not be as much as a demand for them. Those who oppose Udesti's bill say Texas would lose millions from the tobacco tax, but the lawmaker disagrees. Down the road, it's going to cost us a whole heck of a lot more money because of the smoking related illnesses. And I don't think we should be balancing our budget, hoping that 19 year olds will smoke, 20 year olds will smoke, and 21 year olds will smoke. Udesti says prevention is the key. We need to start taking preventative measures to hopefully discourage our young adults from ever starting to smoke. Jennifer Saucedo, Fox News at 9.